Hey guys, I'll be one for here doing an update. Nothing too special, just showing them off. And uh they're they've been really swimming together. At night they swim like right up in this top corner and whatnot. I don't know why. But yeah, but uh Oh, that was a long part. Oh god. No but uh, other than that what I've made so far. It's all PVC glued together, except for this part right here. Yeah, come on. Break off. So for this part right here, it's not right here. And that, that's not PVC glued. But other than all that, this is... You're drilling a hole right here-ish, somewhere right around in here. Just so that the airline and the uh, one-way valve will be going into it so that keep all the air bubbles out and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, I, I like the setup of it. I don't know if my dad does though. But you know, oh well. It's pretty clean. Yeah. I soaked it in vinegar for 24 hours. Hmm. And uh, soaked it in fresh water for 24 hours. Got a little crack there, but I PVC glued that thing to heck. To 80. The hell. Don't be curious about swearing anymore. And this is the other part of it. Where it drains back into the sump. Or it's like that gravity fed kind of spiel. See, you need to make sure that you have your Teflon tape right here and on the other side. And this is just a 3 fourths quarter, quarter one. So, you know, nothing too special. Still take all this off. Like that. And just like that. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, right there, it's completely shut. Completely shut right there. And open it. Just got to. It's hard doing this one handed. Come on, fat. Power the knee. There, it's completely open. Yeah, shine up to the light. Completely open. Uh, pretty good. This is like two bucks. So, for it, a little piece of Teflon. This was for no, two bucks, the ball thingy. These were like 30, 50 cents each. This laying around. This one I still have to clean out. See, there's some spider webs right there. So still got to clean out. Soaking this in vinegar. Tonight I'll probably put it in there. But all of this other stuff is clean. Hopefully. Pretty sure it's clean. Should be. Yeah, it's clean. And just a little bit of grass. And for my sump, a little BS thing. Screw it. 14 gallons right here. 14 gallons. It's 51 liter quart. 51 liter bin. Your usual bin. You know. It's your usual bin. Storage bin. Gonna be putting nothing else other than that in there. And just not gonna have anything else. I have it like this. Got my little hole right there. Probably gonna leave that somewhere else. I don't know. Probably gonna be an exit pipe for the drain or something. I don't know. No idea yet. Oh, I dropped it. Got it to the charger. But uh, probably gonna have my protein serum over there. Pump. The rest of it refugium. That's about it. May put some a crate. And like some one fourth inch egg crate, so I can. I don't know, I don't know so that the um, macroalgae doesn't get sucked in. Something. I'm gonna do something. Because it's so hard to cut the pieces for plexiglass for this because it's at an angle and whatnot. So that's hard to do. And you get some more filters. Probably put the heater in there. The 
what did I think it's like 100 or 200 watt, 250 watt. And uh, got a question. So you know, like those uh, lights for your garage and whatnot, like it's T5 lighting still. Do you know if that will be good for it? Because like it's a double strip, two 14 watt bulbs, two feet. Probably gonna get like four of them. So that, what, that's like 28 times four. Well, like Jesus, like 96, I think. Somewhere around there, 96. 28 plus 28 is 50, 56, yeah 56, 56 plus 56 is 112, so that's roughly 112 watts for a 20 gallon tank, I think that'd be more than enough lighting, if you guys know, let me know, message me, why not, do whatever you gotta do, and some, you know, I know it seems kind of cheap of me, but you know, DIY, what it's all about. Look at that DIY stand. Like I'm, I'm a poor boy. I've had this room since I was four, three, four. It's a pretty crappy room. My medals, my cowboy stuff. I like to ride horses. And yep, I'll be doing an update on the 55 soon. And one last look at the fudge glaze. That's awesome. They eat like crazy. And see ya. See you guys later. Talk to you later, man.